Hello, driving intelligence community. For those of you in the United States that watch my channel, I'm fairly certain that you've heard of Harbor Freight. And it's a, it's a tool store that has everything that you can possibly imagine at all different levels of quality. A long time ago, I bought this drill kit with the flashlight because I needed to stir up some epoxy to do an epoxy flooring on my garage. I didn't want to use one of my good drills. This whole kit cost less than $29 at the time. I think that's what they listed it at. I got it on sale with one of their coupons. And over time, well, one of the batteries died. The original battery is no good anymore. This is a, a follow-up battery, but I didn't feel like spending anywhere from $40 on up to replace a battery for a kit, total kit that cost me about 25 bucks. So I've got the original battery. I took it apart to see what I was dealing with. And it turns out I can get these batteries on Amazon super cheap. Uh, five of these I've already tested are bad. I'm going to go through and show you how I'm going to attempt to repair this to better than new because the Amazon batteries have a higher milliamp hour rating than the originals. Let's get started. As you saw, I've already taken the screws out. They're Phillips head screws on the bottom for them. And the top comes off easily after that. And then the batteries, they just pull straight out. So it's really easy to disassemble this and get to the batteries. And I also tested these with a multimeter. I'll show you what I found, and then we'll move on with the repair. Now that the battery is removed, I want to check the voltage on each. I've already done that. You can see I put a B on here, which gives me an indication of a bad battery. But what I'm going to do is run the meter across each one of these, and you can see that this one is only giving me 0.1 millivolts, so that's definitely a bad battery. The next one is at 1.25 volts, good one. Another bad one is 0.6 millivolts. So I've gone through all of these and I've got five bad batteries. So what I can do now with the Amazon batteries that I've gotten, I'll link these in the description of this video, I'm going to transfer new batteries over to the battery pack. And I'm only going to use solder. I'm not going to use the 12-volt the battery with some pins to actually impregnate it into the, the battery material. I'm just going to use solder. So let's see how this works out. Now I'll use needle nose pliers to remove the strip that electrically connects all the batteries. Unfortunately, you'll see I made two mistakes while I'm doing this. First, I should have used a mat to prevent the batteries from contacting the bench and shorting out. And second, I should have been wearing gloves. The old batteries are 1.2 volts at 1300 milliamp hours. The new ones, same voltage, but these have 2300 milliamp hours, so these should last a lot better. I'm hoping there's not a problem with the compatibility between the lower milliamp hour batteries and the bigger ones, but we'll see. Unfortunately, the soldering iron didn't work. I couldn't get the solder to adhere to the battery, and I bet there's some out there that would have told me I told you so. Anyway, I had to ratchet up the expense on this project, especially since I've got some cobalt batteries I'm going to rebuild, and I'm going to use this foot pedal operated spot welder. That'll make the job a lot easier. And uh, it does have a battery pack in it. Uh, it's, uh, it charges up. It's got a foot pedal with a couple leads on it. I'm already charging it up now, and I'm going to go ahead and start doing some spot welding on these batteries, which will make a much quicker process of getting this battery rebuilt. The spot welder is extremely easy to use. The foot pedal allowed me to safely stage the battery and electrode, and once ready, I depressed the foot pedal and firmly pressed the leads on the spot where I wanted the weld. I initially set the power level to half and moved up to three quarter power level to get a good weld. I made at least two passes on each battery. Okay, so the spot welder did a great job reattaching all these straps. The only problem I had was that the wire disconnected from the strap, and I had to force solder that. So I was able to get some solder on there to hold that. Hopefully that'll stay together as I use this device. But now let's put this thing back together and see if we've got uh, some voltage. Just as a reminder, I had five bad batteries. All right, everything's going in there okay. That little insulator on top. Now to get this thing in here. Oops, wrong place. And let's make sure the button's there so it works. I 
had a little problem there with the uh, the ground coming off. Had to re-solder that. But looks like we got everything back together. Hopefully. What does this go to? That was my mom. She's asking what it goes to. It's to my Harbor Freight. Just as a reminder, everybody, it's my Harbor Freight drill, master drill, and flashlight. And we're going to test it in just a second, even though it's not fully charged. All right, there we go. Here's my flashlight. Works. And that's not on a full charge, so we're going to charge it up now and see how bright it really gets. All right, before putting it on the charger, I want to see what the voltage is. Use my little meter here to test the contacts, and we're at 15.1543 volts. So it should be at 18 volts when it's fully charged. We'll show it again once that's done. Now that the battery's fully charged, we're going to test it to see what the new voltage on a fully charged battery is. If I can get to the contacts. Nineteen point four volt, three foot nine volts. It's an eighteen volt battery, so this thing should definitely be working properly. When I started, I wasn't getting a really good light coming out of this thing. That is super bright now, so we are good to go. Got plenty of power for quite a long time, and I've still got five batteries remaining for additional repairs. Hope you liked it. Give me that thumbs up. See you next time on Driving Intelligence.